Wagwan people, welcome back to another Yari TV news headlines. So people, I want to pay attention to the screen right now. Because on your screen was once a regular lunch box that used to contain curry chicken or jerk chicken or stew pork and you know all of these nice things. Is now being used as a means to smuggle in contrabands into the police station in Spanish town. They say two women were arrested and charged with connection with this. Well, this just got for show you know, how much the woman them involved in at the arms house, just as much as the man them. So the next thing I see going on out the street now, you know, peeps. Gunman put on soldier uniform and go over there in a community with him Duncan in Chilani. Clot up four people and kill two of them. The deceased has been identified as 28-year-old Jason Trail and Andre Dennis, 25-year-old, both from Red Dirt District in Duncan's. Reports are that about 7.30 p.m. Both men were among a group of people gathered in the Red Dirt District of Duncan's when the heavily armed men pounced and sprayed the gathering with bullets. Four people, including Trail and Dennis, were shot and taken to hospital where both men were pronounced dead on arrival and the other two admitted for treatment. Half lately, I noticed this had become a common practice with the gunman them, you know. For put on police uniform or put on soldier uniform and go up on ends go whip up ends under the pretense of them are law enforcement officers or whatsoever. So for all of them people who love each up a bar and play domino and drink rum and cuss bad word and all of these things. Being that you don't know one ear for gone no yard when certain time come a night. A one advice me have to give you. Try to familiarize on yourself with how proper police and soldier uniform look. So that any time gunman or bad man come towards you. If you don't see that one thing you don't always look for to know say is a real police or soldier this. Take one yourself. Because that one minute head start or that one second head start can be the difference between life and death. Yeah man, believe me when I tell you man. So the next thing I see are going out of the street now in the peeps. Face to face classes for grade 1 to 5 students at the St. Patrick Primary School in St. Andrew have been halted due to garbage pile up at the premises. The classes have reverted to online until the garbage is collected by the garbage people. So I go play on an audio clipping from Brian Clark who is the PNP counsel for the Waterhouse Division over there in Western St. Andrew. He may give his take on the situation and according to him, he is saying that this is the second time classes have been halted due to the same garbage business. So take a look, take a listen. It is alarming for such things to be happening, knowing that it is a school that has over 1,500 kids are there about and special consideration must be given in cases of, of these. I know the fact that the school administration has been making continuous efforts by calling persons who are said to be responsible from the National Solid Waste Management Authority without any action being taken. I am hoping that in very, very short order, the cleaning will be done because if it is not being done, it, me it would mean that we would have to source funds by some mean, reasonably, to have the cleaning being done. And that should not be it, because this is not a privilege. It is a right for the cleaning to be done. My appeal to the National Solid Weight Management Authority is to get on with it. When I can understand the situation with the outer communities not being collected so frequently, and that is a national thing. It is not something that, that is a warehouse issue. It's a national thing as it relates to non-collection of garbage. What I'm appealing to the National Solid Waste Management Authority, please take the schools especially into consideration. That is a disgrace, big disgrace. St. Andrew Western on need for fix up on a thing. Yeah, man. So the next thing I'm see I go on out the street now, peeps. They are saying that 11 people were injured on Saturday afternoon in a two-vehicle collision along the Rosal Main Road in Montego Bay, St. James. But I may tell you about that road there. The amount of accident we may cover since here on the road there already. 
It is reported at about 3 o'clock. Two Mark X motor cars were racing along the main road when the driver of one of the motor cars lost control and slammed into a Toyota IS bus transporting passengers from Falmouth to Mobile. The injured passengers were rushed to the hospital for treatment. So I'm going to play on a small snippet of the incident that a passerby took while passing the accident scene. There's a much longer video of it, you know, people, but you have to go join the Telegram group to see the entire video, the raw and cut version, because may I tell you, it's graphic bad because may I tell you, people, they all over the place, body parts all over the place and beer things. I don't want to get grimy on the people on YouTube and them come lock off my thing. So take a look, take a listen. Hey, Jesus of mercy. Now, nah, man, this is a blast, man. This is a blast. Hey, Jesus. The man lick root out, root out the tree out of the ground. I eight million miles of money I fly. No, sir. I would it. I would. I would go on, sir. The man, Jason, the man root out the tree out of the ground. The man root out the tree out of the ground. No, sir. Why not then? I want to cash it out too much. Eh? See, wheel and sit less up. Mark X again. Okay. How are that there? I'm so here we go once again. Two idiots that try to prove to them one another who can drive better than who. I don't know why we not find a race track and go race over there, brother. People are trying to go about them business. Two full full man up on the road now are trying to prove who more masculine than who clout up in the people them. Nearly kill half the people them. Well at the time of reading this news, it was not confirmed that nobody has died so hopefully it remains that way by the way that video was compliment of it's a blast or this is a blast and as you can see in the video the man them clock down one whole tree no people one whole tree one palm tree and if you know anything about palm tree you know them tree they tough in a man so you know say i go about one million miles for clock down a palm tree well leave your thoughts in the comment section about that one your peeps so before we move on to the next part of the video Please to like, share and comment. And if this is your first time viewing the channel, consider subscribing. Because over here we provide you with the latest happenings in and around Jamaica. And all of the major headline news across the world. I would appreciate it very much. Thank you. So the next thing we are going out the street now in our peeps. A furniture maker is Westmoreland's latest victim. This brother up on your screen is 45 year old Oral Wright and he was shot dead in his community of Nanpreal in Nigril on Sunday morning. Reports are that Mr. Wright was trailed by his attacker shortly after 4 a.m. They shot him multiple times before making their escapes. According to police, residents heard explosions and summoned them. Upon their arrival, Wright was found lying in a pool of blood on the road with multiple upper body wounds. He was transported to the hospital where he was officially pronounced dead. I want to say condolences to the family of this victim. May his soul rest in peace. But people, remember one time when you hear say knockings go on a Westmoreland. And when I say, what? Knockings go on a Westmoreland? You can't believe it. People shocked for days, for months, for years, they might talk about that one knockings there. Nowadays, every minute somebody are dead down a Westmoreland. It come like a regular thing now. It come like a Kingston or Mobile. Thing I go on down the say I know. But anyways, so the next thing I see I go on out of the street now in the peeps. They must say five stolen goats were recovered in St. Elizabeth operation. The goats are three ewes and two rams were found about 10 o'clock during an operation in the area. Three of the animals have been pointed out by their owner who reported them stolen about three weeks ago in the community of Northampton in the parish. The police say they are making efforts to identify the owner of the other two goats. 
Victims of the goat thieves recently are being urged to contact the Black River Police immediately at 876-965-2232 or 876-2026. Well, I'm glad the JCF recovered the man them goat. Because there's nothing worse than you getting up early in morning time go tie out goat and bring in goat at evening time. Months, days, years, only for your man to if your goat and go and make profit off of it after you do all of the labor. So kudos to the cops them for bringing in the people them goat. Good job again Mr. JCF. So people as usual, thank you for staying with me until the end of another video. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram at yardy.tv that official that's yardy.tv that official follow me on twitter at yardy tv official and i will always leave a link in the description where you can join the telegram group so people big up on yourself you know until next time i'm your boy yardy from yardy tv i'm out